This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Well, Beanie Siegel believes that Meek Mill took a loss to Drake. And his advice to Meek in this beef with game was just be quiet and don't respond. There's power in silence because he was looking at the last beef. You took too long to respond to Drake and you took a loss. So just don't respond this time and you'll survive it. Then he also addresses that Meek Mill would always put it out there that everybody in the city always hated on him and wanted to rob him and get at him. And he said, you spoke that into existence because in the beginning, everybody was rooting for you. And they said, I'm washed, you know, meaning Benny Siegel, and that Meek Mill is the new blood. And that was true because I remember when I did a video with Meek, everybody in Philly reached out to me. And this is before he got his deal with Rick Ross. Just saying, yo, thanks, da 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 Even F- Freeway hit me up and was like, yo, that shit was dope, da 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 They were behind Meek 100%, man. I mean, even Arab Speaks, when they were cool, they were behind Meek. You know what I mean? Even though they'd say things here and there now that he wasn't this, he wasn't that. Still, they were behind him because you know they wanted, they needed the next guy out there representing for Philly. But now they feel like he's not representing Philly with all these, you know, losses he's taken. And, you know, I know you guys, some of you guys might believe he's not taking losses. But he lost the Drake beef, okay? And he's losing the game beef now. And I really thought he was going to hold his own. But he's, again, doing the same thing. He responded. And then he didn't, he's not responding after a week, you know? And then game, it's not like game came at him weak the second time. It was more powerful than the 92 bars, the pest control. So why didn't you respond yet? So like Beanie Siegel's talking some shit here. Then again, he goes into, why were you so bothered by Drake not writing his rhymes? Why did that bother you so much? Because uh, Michael Jackson didn't write his rhymes. I mean, his, his music. And then Puff Daddy said, I don't write rhymes, I write checks. So why didn't you come for Puff Daddy? Or why didn't you come at Michael Jackson just being funny about it? And he said, now the real reason is you, in your mind, you believe that Nikki might have had sex with Drake because you asked her about it and she didn't give you the answer you wanted to hear. And that makes a lot of sense. And, you know, another reason was, oh, Drake didn't promote my album. Drake don't got to promote your album, man. He jumped on your album. And the one single that went gold from that or platinum or whatever from that that album, Dreams Are Worth More Than Money, is the Rico track with Drake. And then the first album, he had I'm a Boss. And then the second single was Amen with Drake on it. So Drake's been there supporting you. I mean, Drake used to wear your chains. And then, you know... Beanie Siegel brought up this guy is from Canada, bro. He's not even from the streets. He doesn't live by the same codes. And he beat you in a battle. I mean, come on. And, you know, Beanie Siegel made a lot of good points, man. And, you know, I think Meek totally jumped out the window and got emotional and had Beanie Siegel beat up because he looked up to Beanie Siegel all those years. And Beanie Siegel kind of outed him over some something, you know, and, and... Instead of handling it properly, okay, you beat him up. Did, did Beanie Siegel, do I agree with Beanie Siegel saying he wrote for me and them? No, I don't. But did he deserve, to, are you going to beat up the, the, the guy in Philly, Beanie Siegel, who is already not doing 100%? Come on, man. That was, that was whack. You know, even WAC 100 said, like, yo, you beat up Beanie Siegel for the same thing you did to Drake. Like, come on, man. So, I don't know, man. Like, yeah, he's not looking good right now. He got two people coming for him now. He got gay man Beanie Siegel just speaking facts. So, he's got to do something, man. You better drop DC4 and distract everybody from this. Because, you know, I don't want to see Meek go out like this. And Meek really does. They need Meek to represent in that city, man. So, I hope he steps it up.